Hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the song Genie Genie from Salim Suleiman's album Bhumi 2020. This song has been sung by Jonita Gandhi and Swaroop Khan. Uh, lyrics are by Dhiren Garg. Music has been composed and produced by Salim Suleiman. And uh, there's some additional production which has been done by Raj Pandit. And uh, it features a great uh, legendary tabla player slash electronic musician Karsh Kale. Just an FYI, this song has already been on Salim Suleiman's own channel for the past two years uh, and they have included it in this album so they made a video for it uh, which released today. Uh, so with that being said, let's get right into the review. Uh, let's start with lyrics. So the song has two verses and a chorus and there's a section in the very end which is just instrumental. Uh, so both the verses are in English and it's about this cry for help. I think uh, alternating lines tell you different things. Uh, if you listen to the first line, you feel like the person is depressed and uh, going for a cry of help. Or And if you listen to the second line, it feels like it is addressed or uh, towards a specific person. So she's telling one person like, uh, you left me or, uh, you know, you're not, we are not in talking terms right now, but will you uh, listen to this cry for help and can you hear me now? And that is repeated. And it's in a typical pop kind of a format. And for a pop song, it's really well written. Uh, although I would have loved more information in the verses but nevertheless the writing is decent uh, and Dhiren Garg does a good job uh, but everything falls apart for me uh, lyrically musically and in every way possible uh, when it comes to the chorus there they have taken Sant Kabir's famous lines Jini Jini Bini Re Chadarya and they have used it uh, so some context of that so uh, what it means is Jini uh, means uh, very thin or very delicate. Uh, Bini means bun bunai, like how they made it, and uh, it literally translates to woven. And Chadaria, as you know, is a blanket. So what he's trying to say is that you have woven this blanket uh, in a very thin, delicate fashion. But he's not actually talking about the blanket. He's talking about the human body. And if you go and read the rest of the poetry, it says that with these five elements, like we know uh, nature is made up of five elements, and he's addressing God and all that. So that's a different topic altogether. But they have taken that uh, and they have used it here. Uh, but my biggest problem is that the verse don't connect with this uh, thought and they have not even tried to elaborate this thought or you know have their own take on the thought or even take a few more lines from uh, Kabir's uh, writings and put it there so I don't know why they did that and uh, it's a good attempt to take something westernized and put it with something very Indian and something very rooted in the Indian culture uh, that's what they've been doing throughout this album I know that I get the concept uh, but the thing is here it just doesn't fit and I would have really loved to hear the lyrics uh, in a much clearer kind of a way where it was not used as a part of a build-up so if you listen to the chorus you can listen uh, that a lot of arrangement build up is going on while these lyrics are being pronounced or these lyrics are being sung. So uh, I may be wrong here uh, and if you don't feel the same way let me know in the comment section down below but uh, I feel like ye lyrics sirf aise le liye just to you know make some Sufi or some Indian or some spiritual connection agar ye gaan, uh, lyrics ke bina ye gaana banta to shayad better banta uh, let me know if you agree disagree anything put that in the comment section down below so let's talk about singing uh, Jonita Gandhi for the most part does a great job uh, there's an interview an old interview where she has mentioned that uh, it's sad that they just give her two three lines and make her sing in this lower register so I'll be happy that she gets to feature most of the song here uh, but still it's in a very lower kind of a register uh, but she has to make do I guess the chorus has been sung by Swaroop Khan uh, who's a traditional Rajasthani singer and I think he was also featured in one of Indian Idol seasons so he does a great job actually he doesn't do any injustice to the song so he does his flourishes his harkats and he does an alap towards the end of the song as well so all that is pretty good uh, it's just a shame that all that his effort and everything uh, gets diminished when it is placed on the drop or placed over the build up towards the drop so we barely hear his vocal ability or his singing and he just doesn't get enough time or uh, enough place in the song to prove his metal 
let's talk about the composition structure here. Uh, so it has a typical uh, pop format where you have a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus and a bridge. Uh, but instead of the bridge here, you again have the drop section or the instrumental section uh, towards the very end with a few alaps over it. Uh, but the structure is pretty pop. Like I mentioned, I don't have any problem even uh, in a compositional sense about the verses. They were really well composed and they lead in very nicely to the chorus. It's the chorus that I have a problem with. Uh, but since I already mentioned that, uh, I won't linger long on it. Uh, let's move to the arrangement and production. So the arrangement and production are the best parts of the song. Uh, this is a music producer's dream where he gets to blend in all these different uh, genre influences into one song. Uh, a lot of the influences are electronic music influences, uh, most notably the drop, uh, which is featured in different uh, variations in once uh, after the second verse and once during the very end uh, so that has been done really well i really love the synth sound selections and also the drum sound selections especially i love the snare drum uh, which is somewhere in between a actual clap or a snare and somewhere between a finger snap so that is really well done it is not very harsh on the ears uh, all the build-ups uh, during the transitions I really liked. Uh, so overall, a great, great job on uh, producing the song. Uh, again, uh, there are some issues where I felt uh, in the chorus where uh, I don't know if it was a problem with the mix or the master or is that how they wanted it, uh, that the vocals were barely audible. Uh, so And there's one other problem they had with uh, production is that uh, this panning effect is used. Uh, it's used uh, during the first chorus as well and also during the end. So what panning means is at times you hear something in one year and at times you hear something else in this year, right? So but here instead of actually using it tastefully, uh, they have overdone it at times to create that effect. I understand it, but it's just like a bit jarring. So it's almost like you see a camera like SSL and we, you know, get those kind of uh, Chakra type aane lagte hai. It's something of that sort which I didn't really care for but that's just one minor thing. Uh, apart from that, uh, whole of arrangement and production was really really well done. Uh, so overall a great song. I just had a couple of uh, you know uh, grievances with the song so I just uh, let you know those things. Uh, if you agree, disagree, please let me know and if you disagree, it's totally fine. Uh, so that's it for the review. If you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, check out other stuff on the channel. I do a lot of music related content. I do a lot of music reviews. So please check them out. If you like any of that, please consider subscribing. If you want to tell me anything, anything at all, put that in the comment section down below or you can just DM me on Instagram. Uh, and it would be great if you can subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit uh, 500 subscribers. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll be with you in another video very soon.